My name is uh, Mark Pister. I'm working at the Swiss Federal Office for Spatial Development uh, in the International Affairs Department, and we are kind of responsible for any territorial cooperation uh, in the Alpine space and also with Europe, meaning uh, you know us probably from Interreg, but also the Alpine Convention, OISALP, ESPON, uh, and other programs. And there are also the Territorial Agenda 2030. And here we are one, or we have put in one of six pilot action ideas. Uh, ours is called Climate Action in Alpine Towns. And we started with a funding logic where we wanted to where we wanted to help towns, alpine towns, uh, on a small scale basis to put in action the territorial agenda goal, especially of the green of the of the green strand. Um, here, the idea was that that we want to empower or enable local municipalities that may have some ideas how to or some face some problems um, with climate change and show them how to implement how to implement small scale actions that in the long term can be transferred into a bigger strategy so for example the greening of a specific neighborhood uh, with tree species and so on that are adapted to climate change together with the with the public so public participation is really important. Um, and through that, we hope that the towns will then thereafter implement this in a, in a more long term and in a bigger strategy. So this is kind of setting a spark for the municipalities to implement something. Um, and secondly, one of the other goals is to, to get access to a local network of towns that will help us to bring forward also the works that we are doing in the Alpine Convention, in the territorial agenda and so on. So to really foster the network, to talk to the town officials, because this is very difficult. Usually if you're on a national or international level is to actually reach the local level with your ideas, with the goals and so on, and to make it understandable for them and also useful. Um, so this is the second goal behind besides the implementation. So uh, thanks a lot, Mark, for your explanations. And you may know our job is to bring territorial agenda closer to interact programs. And that will bring me to my question. Could you see within the pilot action a role for interreg programs because yeah you know interreg key topic cooperation and in principle we consider whatever you do with regard to climate change it needs cooperative action very hard to achieve anything on your own in particular from a local perspective so what could you see as a role of interreg in the pilot action so I think this pilot action differs a little bit from the others because it's really suitable for interreg or this type of cooperation because it's not driven top down, but bottom up. So we are the ones that are enabling this network of towns, asking them what they want and helping them to implement that. So this, this I think this bottom up logic of the of of our pilot now is is very very suitable um for an interact type of cooperation because it also it brings the goals of the territorial agenda to the local level but it listens to them and helps them to develop something so this is one thing second thing is that we try to we try to help the towns with small scale implementations meaning that they don't need uh, a big idea or a great effort um, to come up with a project, but most of them already had something in mind or had already had kind of a need that they wanted to they wanted to address. Um, and we are enabling them in a very, very easy way to to do that. And thirdly, we are kind of looking for long term cooperations that have been existing. So with the Alpine Town of the Year Association, but also with others. Um, 
we try to find these networks and to to talk to them and to try to start something with them because that will also you know go further because after, even after the project ends the network is still there uh, the project network is still there and also the towns they know each other they've been knowing each other for a long time they will be looking for further projects and to continue in this in this trend so this is i think very special here but but very crucial and some some inspiration i think for interact programs and where would you see the challenge because i saw in the description of your pilot action one of the key purposes is to provide a low threshold so something a project you can easily enter you can easily start working with within the project and looking at interreg where would you see then i could imagine that there is a bit of a challenge for towns i mean interreg has to some extent um, a little bit of different logic at least on on transnational level maybe not so much not so much for the cross border programs but um, it is usually it's difficult to it's difficult to access these long these long standing cooperation networks that are existing i think that would be important to reach them reach out to them because they will be the ones that also regularly would have project ideas that they want to implement uh, and secondly it's it's now with the pilot action we are really working hands on so we have the ideas of the ta um, of the ta 2030 and we go to the towns and we ask them you know um, could you imagine doing something in that direction do you have any ideas any needs that you want to implement and then from then on they just send send us their project proposals we try together with experts to improve to maybe give a bit, a bit more foundation with our knowledge and then they can implement and this is really this is really kind of this easy access this talking to each other is is i think something that has been lacking a little bit in interact sometimes and also this low threshold um access to to funding uh, which in, in in this is is very very crucial let's say and and still we can have a big impact or we already feel that we can have a big impact um, in the network to to implement climate action and final question i understood there is an organization of the alpine towns did i get that right because that could be interesting for programs if you have at one institution you could address as a program to further disseminate information on options in programs to alpine towns yeah exactly so this association has been very very long standing and i also would want to um to mention alliance in the alps network which is the um, same thing but for instead of towns you look at the municipal level uh, and there you have already towns or municipalities that are willing to cooperate, that are, you know, having many, many project ideas, but they usually don't have access to, to funding outside of, the, outside of the associations. I think for Interreg, it would be very, very interesting to get access, to connect to these networks, because there you have already tons of ideas set up that, that are not ready for implementation, but let's say one month, two months, they, they will find something that they want to do um, or that, that is interesting for Interreg. Um, difficulty is you first have to get to know the networks in your areas, meaning that we have been working in the Alps or my team, my boss, for 20 years and, and she knows every network almost every network um that that could be interesting so it's i think it's if you have access to these networks you should use them but you should look that uh, that everyone kind of gets gets to you or you you have the chance to know the whole picture and not only one specific actor thanks a lot mark thanks from our side
Thank you.